Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer and I'm back with another look at To End All Wars. I think this is part 8, although I may have lost count. We're kind of in the middle of a turn, we're in late December, we've already spent a big chunk of our money. Uh, we've got a reasonable amount of victory points, I believe. Um, maybe? We've lost negative 1 from structures lost and captured. We've got 8 from battles and 99 for objectives under control. So I think that's okay. Um, national morale is about 109, so I think that's good. Uh, our war supplies are doing okay. Our conscripts are doing okay. Engagement points are, I don't really honestly know. <laughs> and ammunition, we've still got some. So... All in all, things are going all right. Uh, we've got the enemy more or less um, in in not full retreat, but uh, we've taken a good chunk of their territory. If we go ahead and change the um, go ahead and change the slider here, we can see the different uh, zones of control, if you will, different terrain. Uh, what am I scrolling through? This is what I'm looking for. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So we can see here that we've advanced in the south, taken Freiburg. We could probably continue advancing, but then we'd risk getting cut off by this large enemy stack here at Strasbourg. The enemy only holds two of the remaining border provinces. We've taken several provinces here in the north. We've also advanced into the Saar uh, with the British here, uh, winning a battle last turn, but uh, bloodily. doesn't look like we've taken that province yet. Meanwhile, Metz is under our control, but besieged. Uh, the enemy is uh, about to fall, I believe. Looks like they're bringing in some reinforcements under the 5th Army uh, into Saarbrücken, or... I know, Saarbrücken... No, wait. Saarbrücken is up here. Okay. So it looks like the enemy may be bringing reinforcements in. It's hard to tell at this point. We may have overextended with the British here, but we've got some reinforcements coming in through Metz. Um, we've pretty much done everything we need to do this turn in terms of movement. Uh, we have purchased quite a few units that we're waiting on uh, to train up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next turn. We're in late December. We're going to move forward to early 1915. It's the winter, folks. So, let's see what happens. Last turn, we did lose a battle uh, near Morgan, how? Whatever is south of Metz. I always get the city names, but uh, we didn't lose the province. We just lost uh, basically a core of troops there. It was our worst defeat thus far, though. though. Um, so, hopefully, the Germans do not. Uh, try to pursue that. The goal is to maybe try and cut the enemy off near uh, Strasbourg, but right now our, our forces are so exhausted from kind of the frontal attacks through these fortress cities, it may not be practical quite yet to do that. So um, we'll see here as we wait for this uh, turn to process. I want to get back to playing this game a little bit more. I've been really busy lately with a lot of real-life stuff going on and other things like that. Um, so it's a little bit difficult. Um, been a lot of test work going on with Scourge of War Waterloo, which I wish I could talk more about, but I can't, other than saying I'm helping test it. And come on, turns. Let's go. It's only been like a minute, but still. There we go. Progress. I could start singing some Valerie. Or Take Me On. Or Danger Zone. <sighs> no, I'm not going to actually sing it. I'm going to edit that out.
Okay, so days are processing, units are moving. The enemy is scouting our troops up in the north. French victory, hurrah! I don't know what we just won. The Battle of Loam. Um, so German colonial troops there were defeated. Twice at the Battle of Loam. Inflicting substantially more casualties the, on the enemy than they on us. So that's good. Looks like the enemy is starting to build hexes around SAR where we've advanced with the BEF. So that's not good to see. We may advance to the south with that new British stack in Theonville. Maybe we'll advance to the south of SAR and uh, try and take another province there. It'd be interesting to see how this game handles mobile movement, you know, if, if units actually get out and start marching around. That would be kind of cool. Um, tutorial about research. All right, so we can hit F6 to go to the research screen. So the BEF here in the SAR is, um, I hope they're, they're not out of supply, no, they're in supply, definitely. Okay, so we can actually check the uh, sliders there and uh, let's see here, what's our supply situation? Yeah, okay. So the Western Ent Entente has 42% control here. The Germans have 58. So it's a near-run thing. Um, we haven't totally kicked them out there yet. Um, but we'll probably advance into Lorien, 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 whatever, next turn. Um, I'll take a look here. I want to see the uh, that regions. No, that's not what I want to see. Political regions? No. Uh... uh there's a, oh, there we go. So this is still part of Alsace. We have taken a good chunk of it, but there's still some more left in, in our control that we haven't taken. We've taken Thienville, we've taken Metz. Um, Sar, I guess, is outside of that, but we may move into Lorien, Alex, Lorien, Lorien. We've taken most of it in the south, just a few remaining provinces that we haven't taken. And uh, so that's good. Uh, that turn was rather uneventful, surprisingly. Um, kind of waiting for the Germans and Mets to fall. Again, just sort of reinforcing ourselves here. I want us to go and do recon. But uh, maybe we'll wait on that. Still waiting for some... Reinforcements to arrive. We were sending some troops by rail. This unit's locked here. I'd really like the Italians to come in on our side so we can get rid of the whole silly... Um, we've got a pretty large army of over 400 firepower sitting down in the south. Mainly because we don't know what the Italians are going to do. So we don't want to... Defensive posture, there we go. I guess we could just launch an all-out assault. Um, let's see here, how are the rest of our troops doing? Uh, these guys aren't going to be able to participate in either of these. But we got about, what, 600 firepower that could launch the assault? Do we want to take that chance? I don't know. Got a whole bunch more forces here. One second. <clears throat> I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to ad advance with one core. Ender Schwarzwald, maybe. Hmm, do I want to do that, though? It seems kind of risky. How much firepower do we have? 
160, 34, 29, 23, 413. Seems like we're kind of inviting a uh, inviting an enemy response. So you know what we'll do is we'll advance this direction and uh, there. Probably won't get there next turn, but if we continue advancing along the Swiss border, our flank will be protected. And we could go for a wider flanking movement, maybe driving from Lorraine directly towards Stuttgart, and then this force around towards Stuttgart, and uh, hopefully pull the enemy out of their fortifications around Strasbourg. So that's what we're going to do there. This BEF, or Entente Corps, is going to go ahead and advance into Lorraine, or Lorian. So go ahead and do that. And... Sar hopefully will continue to fall under our control. These guys are going to be on aggressive stance, so they'll march to the Sar if they are attacked. Um, the enemy has brought to bear some not insignificant forces. Looks like they brought some maybe new armies and then the 5th army as well, um, but it doesn't look like it's anything too frightening. I don't see multiple armies there stacked or anything. Meanwhile, we're just going to besiege Metz one more turn. The rest of our troops really aren't ready yet. Um, they're still more or less training and all of that jazz. Um, let's see here, is the fleet returned? Oh yes, so we've got more troops. Um, we've got more troops along the coast. Now where's the fleet? Does this have transports? Yes it does, transport capacity. Okay, so we've got the Welsh force, which is now arriving. So we'll go ahead and move them Onto, uh, onto those boats. Um, we've also got the 5th Division, which isn't done raising the sappers, not done raising. Okay, so only one. No, wait, actually, we've got the Scottish Force as well, so we can put them on boats. The Midlands Force, we can put them on boats. And, uh, yeah. So pretty substantial reinforcements here that we've uh, essentially got all already. We're going to go ahead and move them to Schauburg and um, hopefully bring them to bear against the, uh, the German menace. Um, the British Army is going to stay headquarters in Britain right now. And most of the rest of our troops are all still being raised, I think. Got a few Marines, but in general, everyone else is still being raised. We'll go ahead and... What other options do we have? We're actually still doing okay on artillery, so I don't think we need to purchase more of that. Um, I, th I do think we need to raise some um, Indian troops. Why well, not Indian? Maybe African? Raise some African troops in our colonies. Looks like we've successfully taken Togo from the enemy, or at least besieged it. Still got a German flag there. So we'll launch an assault at all costs. If we can take Togo, then we can kind of start moving down the, the chain of German colonies, hopefully eventually taking Ost Africa, although the Germans do have a pretty strong force there. Um, but maybe Southwest Africa or something along those lines. You know, I should probably check on things in the Pacific. I haven't seen the German East Asia Squadron. I'm assuming they're bottled up in uh, Tsingtao, which is the German um, Chinese uh, colony, where the historically the um, German East Asia Squadron was based, although they really didn't spend any time there. They, they immediately fled into the uh, Pacific. I don't really... I think F6... Was the hot key for research here so we can actually go into the academy of science we've got a one quarter fund we can do to aviation research three-fourths fund artillery research infantry research chemical warfare research i don't know oh okay so what i can do i use engagement points if i uh, allocate funding okay so I guess we're going to allocate funding to all that. And use a bunch of points, but whatever. 
five, political options, Tunisia to Turkey, locked, can't do that, uh, or to Italy, can't do that. <sighs> Looks like most of these political options are locked from us. Sinking of the Lusitania. Well, these are kind of cool. These probably come into play a little bit later in the uh, diplomatic age. Oh, okay, so we can call on the Japanese um, conditions. The event can only be played if the British Empire has joined the Entente. Japan shifts 50% alignment toward the Western Allies. Cost of five engagement points. Yeah, let's do that. And then the neutral blockades, what we can do is we can basically blockade neutral traders almost immediately after the outbreak of hostilities. Great Britain imposed a blockade on Germany in the North Sea. The blockade was extended to include inspections and seizures of any neutral shipping that was suspected of aiding German war effort. This meant, the, or this measure was not popular in neutral nations, but helped tighten the grip on the central powers. Conditions, Great Britain must be not be neutral. Effects, the blockade is a chance to twice turn instead of once. United States, Italy, and Ottoman Empire shipped 5% away from the Entente, uh, but the uh, neutral block, neutrals are blockaded. We're going to wait on that. So those are some other political options. Uh, war plans are kind of irrelevant. Okay. And then we've got a list here of all of our units under construction, which is actually quite significant. Um, yeah, so there's some nice hotkeys here. Uh, this was F2, gives, gives us the war production. F3 is war plans, which is irrelevant right now. F4 and 5 are political options. 6 is research. 7 gives us a nice strategic map overlay here. You can see this just kind of gives us a location of all the units we can see. I would love if it gave us some kind of indication of the Eastern Front. It's really annoying having to go back there and look all the time. 8 is a regions list. 9 is scores and objectives. So uh, apparently we don't have any of our objectives. Although, you know, I, I have to think we have to consider the fact that we have um, substantially taken a lot of Alsace-Lorraine, which would at least be popular in France. Um, Great Warful Campaign, current morale 109. We win if we get to 150. Defeat if we fall to 5. Um, what's this? Prisoners taken from the enemy per nationality or ethnic group. How many men we've lost? Oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that. So we have lost 345,024 men so far. Yikes. The enemy has lost or um, prisoners taken from the enemy per nationality or ethnic group. 16,200. Just 16,200 prisoners. Um, the enemy. Oh, okay. So the Eastern Entity or the Eastern Entente. We've got a scoreboard here, basically. Our Eastern Allies have um, lost 410,085 men. Holy crap, that's bad. And the Germans have lost just shy of 600,000 men. I don't... Relative land naval strength of the enemy compared to you, 100. So their naval strength is substantially less than us, if 100 is what we're at. The Eastern Entente is a little bit weaker than us. The Central Powers at 160, so they are more powerful than just us. But uh, when you consider that we've got our allies in here, I think it gives us the advantage. The enemy has more victory points than we do. They've gained 151 victory points, but if you combine the Western Entente and ourselves, th things are pretty even then. I think we're at 99, so that we're just a little bit shy. We're losing by a little bit. Eastern Entente morale is still okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's a nice little nice little button there. That was, uh, what was that, number 9, F9? F10 gives you a little scenario background. F11... I don't know what it does. And F12 takes a screenshot. Probably because we're in Steam. Okay. Okay. Well. Now back to this. Oh, we're still in the strategic map. That's why it's all weirdly colored. All right. So, <laughs> after all that wasted time, I don't really think we're going to do anything else. We saw the battles in Togo. Um, tutorial menus came up. We can disregard these things. These already came up. Basically, we um, substantially reduced the enemy's strength in Togo. They're now more or less besieged there, which would be nice to take an enemy colony from them um, to start reducing the German colonial power. Still waiting on some reinforcements and some new troops being built. Don't have a ton of money available. We've got a good amount, not a ton. 
and uh, we've got quite a few troops being built. So at this point in time, um, what was that? Well, I don't want to invade the Ottoman Empire yet, so we're going to hold off. I don't really have the manpower in Egypt to deal with the Ottomans. So we're going to go away from there. And they don't have orders, actually, so that's probably what it wanted me to do. So, defend, hold at all costs. Okay, now you've got your orders. Anyway, proceeding to the next turn. French victory in the Battle of Lorient. Lorient. The enemy only had some supply wagons there, so uh, we successfully took the region, I think. I don't know why I changed the color of the map. I was just kind of pressing around some buttons. Oops. And I think my French troops are going to be rested up enough... Um, in Metz, maybe to launch a final assault to overwhelm what few enemy troops remain. And then the nice thing is with that large force free, we'll actually have a, sub a substantial enough force to try and launch a flanking maneuver to uh, cut off and surround Strasbourg without fear of an enemy counterattack, because we should have sufficient forces to at least uh, prevent ourselves from being totally destroyed should the enemy try and break out while we're doing that. Right now, we don't really have the troops. We've got the troops to hold the front. We don't have the troops to swing in around and hold against any kind of breakout attempt. But we may have enough troops uh, once again Metz falls and those troops are freed up, especially with the British reinforcements now. And it doesn't look like the Germans have brought too many troops here to the north um, to, uh, I guess, threaten us. You know, the next move should be uh, to directly advance into... Platash, or whatever that province is called, or maybe Sarbuk, and depending on what the enemy has here. So if we actually change the sliders here, we'll um, take a look and see. Uh, okay, so we can see where supply can pass. Apparently supply can't pass through here yet. We haven't taken the province. I thought we did. But there's no fort here, so what's, what's the holdup, folks? Okay. I'm not sure what the holdup is. It looks like we captured these enemy supply wagons. I don't see any enemy troops here. So, yeah. Hold it all costs. Defend. Gosh darn it. Well, we got to finish up. Okay, so anyway, once we take this province, then we'll advance on Blitish, or whatever it's called, with a large force. And uh, that should secure our flank. Uh, maybe with the uh, BEF again stationed, we could actually move them up to, to Starbrook. And, and then the main force can drive towards Spire, Karlrich, and maybe towards Stuttgart. Meanwhile, this southern force here can swing up from the north through Friedrichshafen, Ravensburg, Ulm, and Stuttgart. It may be too wide of a flanking maneuver, but it will prevent any kind of rapid enemy breakout from Strasbourg, in which uh, I'll have a, a long... I'll have a pretty substantial heads up before anything happens. Got a large force here down in Colmar. As well. Which can shift forces as needed. But yeah, so all in all, um, things are going okay on the front. I'm still waiting on some of these reinforcements to arrive. And um, looks like the... 
fleet has arrived. So the Entente Corps can go ahead and disembark. And I think that has the Scotch. Yeah, this has everyone. The Scottish, the Welsh, and everybody. So we'll go ahead and move these guys real quick here before we end this video. We'll have them move by rail. And... I think we'll move them to Theonville. It's going to take them a few days. Actually, no. Let's move them to... We'll move them straight into... Lorraine. And then we'll have almost a thousand. No, what do we have? Six, seven, six, six hundred. Yeah, actually, we'll have almost a thousand firepower here in the north to withstand any kind of German offense. If we can place maybe stacks of about 300 here and Saarbrück and maybe Kaiserlich or um, maybe participating in the drive south. But again, we've got to reduce Metz. It's still technically under siege. Um, the enemy hasn't actually surrendered here yet, I don't believe. But there's a small force left. Meanwhile, this is giving our troops some time to rest and recover. Still have a decent sized force there. And uh, once Metz falls, uh, we'll open up more troops here. You can see we've also got a, a substantial force in, uh, what is this, Morganau? Um, which is the enemy still has an army opposite of it, but uh, heavily outnumbered it would appear based on everything we can see. Enemy estimated firepower is at 209. We've got uh, well over a thousand there. So maybe a, a shorter encirclement, just driving toward Alas, or, Alas, or however you pronounce that, but I hesitate to get so close to a stack of 2,000 enemy troops. So they may be overstacked too. They may have some. Um, penalties against them. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling here. This was a little bit of a different video. We didn't do a whole lot. It was mainly more plotting and just kind of talking about some of the hotkeys. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.